All right, so let's take this apart. This is a HP 15AY195NR. Possibly. 15-AY195. NR I believe that is spelled incorrectly there we go all right so let's talk about how to get this thing disassembled first things first we're gonna remove the battery get that set off to the side there are these rubber feet here you need to remove those rubber feet, set them off to the side. There are screws underneath those rubber feet. In total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 screws that need to come out. So let's get all those out. And the purpose of what we're doing right now is to replace the hard drive in here. There's a screw holding that in that I already removed. Yeah, hopefully it'll be quick, Emily. Take a look at the keyboard real quick. Nope. All right, once we have those screws out, I do not believe there's any under here. We're gonna check real quick. No. All right, so once we have that, I'm gonna come back up to the top here. We're gonna go for this seam right here. Hey, Angela, don't worry about it. And then once we have this seam started to separate, we're just gonna use our little tool and just work our way around. And as you work your way around, the bottom is going to come off. Make sure I didn't miss any screws here. It doesn't look like I did. And then it just comes off and now we're into the laptop so once you get in here here's your hard drive here's your memory there isn't like there's two slots in it so you do have expandability with this and looking at this this is one where if you ever need to replace the keyboard you're unfortunately not gonna be able to replace the keyboard you replace the whole palm rest so let's get uh, let's get this hard drive out get the new SSD in there and get it put back together So if you ever did want to upgrade this laptop, it does have the ability to add a little bit more memory. Like this, this one did come with a, uh, I believe this is eight gigs and it is an i5. So it's not a top of the range unit, but it is still an okay computer. Let me just disconnect that. And we're going to remove these screws here. Holding the hard drive in and what we're going to do the which the well, this is what I do once you have the rail off you hold on to the screw in the rail and then just put it back in so that the new drive mirrors what you just took off that way you don't have to figure out which way the rails go after you've gone through and removed it and you have it sitting on your desk or you know get lost or confused about which way these rails actually go because that is something that can easily get just like misconstrued so then you know you go to try put it in there you got to put screws in take them out put them in take them out this way here you're just moving it right over you're not going to have any issues well, it's like i said it's eight gigs of memory emily 
All right, now we just reverse our process that we did to get it apart. Holding the hard drive in, there was only three screws. We put one on there, one there, and one here. This one was left empty. All right, now, after that, this goes back on. We're gonna set the old hard drive off to the side. The customer does want that back after we've done this clump. And then we put the screws back in and then we put the foot pads back on. And that's it. That is how easy it is to get these guys to get these guys open. Unlike a lot of newer laptops where there's screws and things hidden everywhere. These ones are pretty straightforward. You only got two hidden screws that are a little bit hard to find. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for checking this out. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.